The pirates of the early 1700s have always been romanticized as the golden age of piracy, evidenced here. Yar, har, fiddle, de, de. Being a pirate is a rented Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. But perhaps we should take a look at the actual pirates of Nassau and New Providence Island. Let's take a look at the Pirate Republic. This golden age of piracy began in the Bahamas around 1696, when Henry Avery brought his ship, loaded with loot from plundering various trade routes, into Nassau Harbour. After bribing the local governor, Nicholas Trott, Nassau became a sort of safe haven for pirates where they could operate safely. However, this ended in 1703 and again in 1706, when various Franco-Spanish fleets attacked Nassau, after the attacks, many of the settlers on New Providence Island left, along with much of the British government interference. British privateers took over the island, but eventually they became regular pirates. Over the next few years, operating out in the Sao, the pirates began attacking French and Spanish ships. That was until 1713, when the War of Spanish Succession ended. Swarms of newly unemployed privateers swarmed to New Providence Island, and with no government interference, they set up a sort of republic. Among these new recruits to the republic included Charles Vane, Jack Rackham, Anne Bonny, Mary Reed, and of course, Blackbeard. The pirates, seeing that they were stronger when united, voted Blackbeard as their magistrate, to enforce law and order as he saw fit and to command the Republic. The governor of Bermuda stated that there must have been over a thousand pirates in Nassau at the time, and they quickly became infamous for their exploits. The sheer size and strength of the pirates, and their willingness to attack any and all vessels in their sights, prompted many of the civilized nations to dub the pirates Hostis Humani Generisis, which is Latin for enemies of all mankind. King George I of England appointed Woods Rogers as governor of the Bahamas. He arrived with a large fleet and offered pardons for everyone so long as they refrained from further piracy. He employed some of those former pirates, such as Benjamin Hornigold, to hunt those that had refused the pardon. Most of those he was able to capture were hanged as a warning. However, some pirates, like Charles Vane and Blackbeard, were able to escape. And while they continued their pirate exploits, they couldn't do it forever and were all eventually killed. Not to mention that the Pirate Republic was formally ended and British control was re-established in the region, thus ending the Pirate Republic. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and learned a lot more about the golden age of piracy. And I thought it was a chance to catch exotic diseases. Yar, har, fiddle, de, de. Being a pirate is a